Just came back from the mailbox. How you doing everybody? Just back from the mailbox. Here in Tokyo, we get a lot of junk mail. Basically, I don't know, our mailbox might be kind of half full after a few days if you don't collect it. Filled with brochures, flyers, restaurant menus, all sorts of unique things. It's pretty colorful. And if you haven't realized, Japan's pretty creative with advertising. Here, I've collected six months worth of junk mail. So I thought we would take some time together in these quarantine days and explore Japanese junk mail. I've already put it up on the desk here. Look at this. Boom. Oh, L.L. Bean. I was waiting for this. This is going to be a lot of fun. Now, <laughs> I don't know. This is your cup of tea. I want to take you all around Japan too, but I just can't. So what can we do? We can look at junk mail. It's actually pretty interesting here. Take a look. So I'm just going to pan across some of it. This is a, a, a chirashi or flyer from one of the supermarkets. We'll open that up later. A lot of, of McDonald's, Domino's, sushi shops, a lot of delivery menus. Here's one from, uh, I think that's Loteria maybe. Well, that's a McDonald's as well. Some more sushi. We ordered from this restaurant just recently. Another pizza place. There's even a Toys R Us flyer from just about Christmas when I started to do this. They put that in my mailbox. Look at that Hanjuku Tamago. Tons of things. Here's a new restaurant renewal. Look at that yakiniku in there. Oh man, it's so delicious looking. And then another menu. But it was it's there's a lot more than just food delivery. In here we have a lot of apartment ads, gyms, fitness, schools and whatnot. So let's spend a little bit of time together, some quality time with junk mail. All right, we're going to start here with some of the food ones. Um, let's put it down here. I'm just going to pan down. You guys can get a closer look of a, at these. So this one is a what looks like a yakiniku uh, restaurant opening. Look at the quality of that meat. That is definitely like, like some A5 looking wagyu here. Um, Looks like it's, they even have some ramen. Shio ramen, miso ramen. And some pretty good dining plans as part of this. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I might, I might take a look at that. But I also have to look at the expiration dates on some of these ads because, because uh, yeah, is it real or plastic? It's hard to tell, right? Uh, this is a sushi place, uh, and they're advertising their salmon. Look at the salmon on this menu. It's beautiful. They even have a 10% discount if you have an ad on here. What's it called? Ginosara is the name of, of this chain here. Whoa. This looks really good. This is one of many sushi menus that we got. But they like to put it in these trays. Now, last time when I ordered it, I was a little surprised. They had plastic... Um, plastic sushi trays but this this one looks like it comes in a a lack like a lacquerware which represents the the value of it i don't know they used to get these lacquerwares you'd have to to order the sushi and put it out put this outside and the next day the restaurant will come and pick it up that's what is that a hundred pieces of sushi in there what that looks really good so menu delivery menus we're getting a lot what is this this looks super interesting negi toro don this is uh, Japanese uh, leeks with um, minced up tuna for $10. That looks delicious. It's, it's all about the presentation too. Look at the sushi here. It's got, it looks like it's in some sort of, um, is, isn't that the Back to the Future um, pr processor that allowed Marty to go back in time? The flex capacitor. They put the sushi in a flex capacitor pattern. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's only $6 for this. That's a pretty good flux capacitor. That's right, uh, UFO Bob. <laughs> oh, look at that. They got, what is that? That's um, some tebasaki here. Tebasaki, two pieces of tebasaki for about $2.50, four for about four eighty. That's reasonable, I think. Tebasaki doesn't, doesn't, oh, they got cold stone. Tebasaki doesn't have a lot of meat. That's one of the problems with that. They got cold stone ice cream in a cup. That's outrageous. This is a pretty cool chain. And they have a shop at Monza Nakacho. I, did, I think we ordered from here, didn't we? Can't remember. But this is on my radar. It's a keeper. That is a keeper. 
All right, look at this. This is McDelivery, McDonald's delivery. Uh, it says here. Hold on, let me get the. Hey, Tony P's here. I'm gonna put the light behind me. That makes a lot more sense, so you can see it better. You might get some glare on there. There we go. Yeah, this is a, a Mac delivery. That's pretty cool. This is the um, um, Graten Koro, Grakoro, they call it, menu. And you can see, look at that oozing croquet. Oh, this was from, I, I think I ate this, didn't I? This is a while ago. This is a while ago. And McDonald's has these really delicious sets that they put together for people. This is a two-person set for about $18 and you save about 280 yen. And this one you'll save about, about $4 if you order all this food. This is a th three person set for about $25 for this one. Look at the way they stack the McNuggets in the background, pretty creative. I, I don't think Jap normal Japanese can eat all those French fries though, that's a lot. What, what is this? Patty ga, so they, they, they add, you can add extra patties to your Big Mac, that's crazy. And there's the, there's the information for McDonald's Japan for their McDelivery. There's even a QR code for those that are daring enough to try to search the menu there. Wow, this one we looked at before. I actually ate this with Kanai on another live stream recently. Uh, not this one in particular, but we had a, a Katsudon, which was so delicious. I love this shop. Uh, what is this? Uh, Kasanea. Kasanea, this is a Hanjuku. Tamago baby. I always add the baby to my Hanjuku Tamagos because, oh, just look at that. Whoa. And uh, this is a tonkatsu shop. You see uh, breaded pork cup cutlets. Uh, kind of like a wiener schnitzel, I guess you could say. The Austrians are looking at this and say, saying, this looks pretty familiar. But I want I should have gotten that one in the middle, but I got the one to the right of it. That is the uh, Toro Tama. It's just like this runny egg on there. And that's about 13, 12, 13 dollars, depending on the exchange rate. And the one in the middle there is a roast katsu. That just looks so good. And there's the menu back here. There's a phone number. This is the Ginza shop in Ginza. So they deliver. I, I, I don't, I live pretty close to Ginza. It's not too far away. Oh, Domino's. Hey there. Uh, they just started a tapioca pizza, which is crazy. You know, I think, I think you know, like there's a worldwide tapioca um, shortage about a year ago, and now no one is drinking tapioca drinks because it's like a tourist thing, I guess. So now they're, they're you're getting tapioca so cheap, and Domino's bought like must have bought like barrels of them because now they're putting it on pizza. It might be something that we we try for for dinner. I don't know. Let's let's get back to these to the junk mail, junk mail haul. Can I call this a haul? Ultra cheese. Now, this one freaked me out. You can get, it's saying here, you can get up to uh, 250 grams, 500 grams. That's like, a, like uh, a pound right here, a pound and a half. I would say like 2.3 pounds is a kilogram. So they put 2.3 pounds of cheese. And of course, they won't, they'll put New Yorker on it because we all know New Yorkers are cheesy. They like cheese. I never had this much cheese on a New York pizza. 100% mozzarella. Uh, you can get two if you, this is mochi kaidi. Mochi kaidi means uh, takeaway, take out. And there's a nice coupon, 30% off for the ultra cheese special. Some of these flyers might be, um, might be outdated. Whoa, Domino's goes, goes, to, goes to another level here. Look at the shrimp popping out of that. That's like a shrimp cocktail in a pizza. Look at that. Look at it. Black tiger shrimp on this one here. How much is that for a large? Um, it says here, yeah, about $49 for one large pizza, but it's basically like a surf and turf on a pizza. And if, you know, you can get regularly normal price pizzas at Pizza Hut. You don't have to break the bank. A plain pizza costs about $16, I believe. New York cheesecake shakes from Domino's. That's pretty cool. This is Hacho Bori, which is my neighbor. Jeff Ang's in the house. Somebody likes Domino's, Jeff. It is pretty good in Japan. I wonder what, 
if the quality difference is is big in Japan versus the U.S., uh, you can see down here they show that they show um, how to order, which is interesting for Japanese that don't eat a lot of Domino's pizza. They show how to order. You can get half and half. Japanese love variety. Um, a medium is 27 centimeters. A regular is 28, and a large is 33 centimeters. And there's 12, 12, 8, and 8 pieces. So the medium is just smaller pieces, I guess. Um, and it tells you, it explains the different kinds of crusts. Hand-tossed, ultra crispy. This one says an ultra crispy. And you can add, add additional um, charges for a cheese, cheese uh, paste. They put it on, on top here. I guess it's like rolled crusts. And this is a mill for you. Like layered cheese in the crust for 500 yen, extra $5 for large for that. I might try that one of these days. They do have brownies and soup and stuff like that. But I, you know what? I would use this money just to order more pizza, right? I don't, I'm not really into that. That's a pretty big um, discount on Wednesday in Domino's Japan. Very cool, Domino's. Making me hungry. Oh, you'll get coupons in the mail sometimes in Japan. Junk mail sometimes is, can save you money. This, these are half price. Um, Chinese delivery. People have been asking me for Chinese delivery. This They've added coupons into this one. This is... Um, oh, there's some good stuff here. There's some mabo dofu in there. This any Anything on the menu for s about $7. 790 yen, which is about $7 at the exchange rate. $7.50 maybe. Oh, wow. Looks good. And this one, you can get a couple of, of entrees um, for... 11, 1100 yen or about $10. And this one's about $12, $13. You can get if you want to add these on here. But that's a pretty good deal. Oh, I love these. This is, um, they usually use like a black vinegar, which has this super, like a sweet and sour taste to it. It's really good. And this is super spicy mabo dofu. Whoa, that looks spicy. You put that in your mouth and your tongue goes numb. That's about $10 for a, a big plate of that delivered. I'm gonna put this one away because, uh, or, or keep this one because if they've got half price on this and it's still valid, oh wait, it's good until, until, <laughs> until December 31st, 2019. Slightly, slightly late, slightly late. I think this looks like the same company, right? So I've been collecting this for over six months. So we see here, um, two different flyers from the same company. Let's compare now to see how this company has altered their menu. They've kind of kept the, the same format over the last um, six months. This one is from January 31st, and then this one is from May 31st. So kind of a winter and a spring edition, maybe. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at these and see how they've altered the menu. I'm gonna be taking a look at, um, before we do that, I'm gonna be taking a look at the apartment. Whoa! Careful. I'm <laughs> taking a look at the apartment ones. Um, I have a whole stack of other stuff here that I think you're really going to enjoy. And we'll look at this Toys R Us one because I'm fascinated by that. So just let just bear with me. Now we're going to compare. Are the gimbals doing okay? We're going to compare now uh, these two menus. So let's look at the the winter one first. Look at that piece of ma maguro. That is a hon maguro. That looks like some chutoro to me. Otoro, maybe. Chutoro, I think. Yeah, so this company, I think we, did we look at the menu before? No, this one's slightly different. But when you look at Japanese menus for sushi, it's so colorful. It's so colorful. And these usually, and I want you to understand, when you look at these sushi menus here, um, oh yeah, we looked at, we looked at one from, a, um, maybe from uh, March already. So we don't have to compare too much. But when you look at the menus, there's just a normal nigiri sushi. You can order that for one person. Families will order this. So I want you to look at a family size here. This, this one is the premium one right here, okay? This is um, Miyabi is what it's called. It's got ikura and uni in the middle, so it's, you know it's going to be pretty good. 50 pieces for about $120, $110, $120, depending on the exchange rate. It's got chutoro, which is a very premium cut, it's, uh, the, the middle premium cut of ma maguro, tuna. So this is going to set you back $100 for five people. But 
knowing Kanai and me, this is for three people. Maybe we'll have a little bit left over. I bet you we could both eat this. So that's 50, so that would be for five people, it's about um, $25 a person, which is pretty reasonable, right? 20 to $25 a person. Um, and if you underprice the sushi, then people are suspicious. That's another thing. If, you, if the sushi is too inexpensive, then people are pretty suspicious. Like, why is your sushi so, so cheap? Okay, that's why you don't want to make it too cheap. Now that you know that, that it's about 20, for a family of four, expect to spend on average about $80 for delivery food in Japan. That's just the reality. And that's why pizza is priced the way it is. All right, because pizza, we don't have to look at, well, we can just take a look really quickly. Look at that shrimp. Ah. Oh. The shrimp festival that they having have going on right now, that looks really good. Two pieces, uh, one piece for two hundred two dollars and fifty cents. You can get it. Um, I think it's uh, slightly grilled and then raw. Here, that looks great. And you, or you could just get a, a plate of it just, and then they have a super shrimp platter here. That's about eighty five dollars. So they have locations everywhere. This one is from Monza Nakacho. Monza Nakacho in my area has got a ton of places. This is just, um, I think that's Koto Ward. All right, let's look, take a look at this and we're gonna move it, move to the apartment um, ones after we get through what's on the table here. This is just a supermarket charashi that I got. Um, okay, so this supermarket chain's called um, Bunka Culture. So I think it says Bunkado. Bunkado is the name of this supermarket and um, they've got a few outlets in Chuo Ward in the center of Tokyo here. Looks like they're having a Wagyu festival here. Everything is half off. All this Wagyu, half price. Look at that. Let's see here. This is, um, doesn't say the exact location, just says from Japan. These are Koku uh, domestic beef here. This is Kuroge Wagyu, Katarosu, like the shoulder ro ross, a good cut here. And this is uh, Karubi, which is another really nice cut. Um, I like, Kalbi is really easy for yakiniku. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. And then down here you have kuroge wagyu um, for stew. So this this cut of wagyu is for this for stew, not so much for, it does, you can see it doesn't have so much fat. You don't want to have a fatty meat in a stew. So this one is, uh, um, that's 40% off. This is yon waribiki, it says here, yon waribiki. This one is for curry, this one here. So that, that's what the chunks of meat look like curry. And a lot of butcher shops will cu cut it up for you, um, depending on the purpose. If it's stew or curry, curry's got a little bit more fat in it. That might be what the difference is. Here's shabu shabu, 40% off for the shabu shabu wagyu. All this is kuroge wagyu, beautiful. On the other side, more meat. Oh, so it's just like a niku festival. Sometimes supermarkets will have this. How much per, per kilogram? Let's take a look. Um, it doesn't quite, it doesn't really say. Uh, it just says it's off, it's off, but I, I, you know what? I've never paid, you, you don't pay as much as you think you would pay, but it's a lot more than you, you want to pay maybe. I, does that make any, any sense? I don't know how much it is per kilogram. It doesn't say exactly. This one's 60% off. It's for mega packs, but I don't know. Sometimes the quality is here. 160 grams for a, 160 grams for one steak is $9 for a, Kudoge, a black-haired Wagyu raw steak. Katarosu, I believe that says here. It's uh, $9 for, that's, a, that's so darn cheap. That is so cheap for um, Wagyu, isn't it? And then here's Pizza La, it's another pizza. They, they usually have very strange pizzas here. Um, you know what, you're basically just eating toppings. What about the pizza? It's possible to add too many toppings where it's, it's it no longer qualifies as pizza. Michael Sasan is here. Totally love watching your at-home food unboxings. Thank you, Michael. This, I guess you can call this one here is preparation for the next one. We're scouting. Now, Toys R Us is an interesting one. When I received this, I was perplexed because I thought that Toys R Us went out of business, right? Apparently, it's still in business here in Japan. And I remember um, going to... Uh, back in 2003, when I wasn't sure if I was going to stay in the U.S. or come home, I, I remember going to a job festival and Toys R Us, um, they looked at my resume and they said, you're from Japan. Well, you know, our Toys R Us there is doing insane business. 
So I think they're just different companies. So despite Toys R Us being out of business in in America, they are not out of business here. Care Bears? Is that a Care Bear? So this is just junk mail that I got thrown in my uh, in my uh, mailbox for Christmas time. There's an Ultraman in there. Awesome. Six dollars and thirty nine cents, right? 639 yen. So if it's 100 yen to a dollar, it's approximate. So this is this could be like a collector's item. Anybody want this? Some drones. Hot Wheels. Oh, look at that ramp for Hot Wheels. Why would you need to buy this? Can't you just make it out of wood and, and push your little car down it? It's raining today. There's not a lot that I can do. Look at that kid. He's like, check out my awesome collection, dude. Probably didn't say dude. Original. Um, it's hard for me to see it through the screen here. Oh, he's got little stations here. All these little things, part of his... Uh, no, they just paid him to go, go... Put your hands out and say, I caught a fish this big. Whoa, look at this. That's awesome. He's got a Shinkansen and like the Narita Express going on right there. And he's got his own little station in there. That's so cool. I love these things. I, you know what? If I had if I had time and found somebody who was interested, I would love to do like a train, train tracks in the house and have a little train thing going on around the house. One to the refrigerator to the table. Isn't that the dream, right? You can ask, can I, can you put the beer on the train? So I'll send my train over to go pick up the beer and it'll come back. That's pretty cool. I'm just going through here really, kid. Oh, that's for the young kids. Microscope, uh, a telescope, 10% off. All right, so there you go. Toys R Us is alive and well in Japan. And uh, this is from Christmas, so there's no Animal Crossing stuff, so don't even ask. Next up, I'm, I'm over here. Next up, I've got a t completely full house of junk mail for the next 15 minutes. That was a lot. That's pretty heavy. Let's take a look here. L.L. Bean is representing in Japan. They don't use Japanese models, but it is 20% off. Um, but you know what? The, pro the problem... Hey, Raymond! Raymond Centeno's here. I have Kato engaged trains from Japan. Awesome! Let's talk later. <laughs> but the uh, L.L. Bean in Japan, I would say it's like 30, 30 to 50% more off of the rack. So when they have sales, it's like normal price in... Uh, in the United States. Oh, these are more food. This is Jonathan's, a family restaurant. Here, you can get this delivered. They've been, a lot of delivery uh, restaurants have been sending me delivery. Oh, look at that. That's beef stew om rice. You see that? Beef stew om rice uh, for $10. That's, that looks so great. What, this is more food. Pizza Hut is, is not doing very well in Japan. It's too oily. Japanese don't like it, so the, the discounts are sometimes bigger. This is now 50% off for um, takeaway. Uh, the pizzas just aren't as appetizing as, uh, they don't look as good as the ones in uh, uh, from Domino's. So Domino's is killing it here. Pizza Hut is way behind. Here's an app for menu. You can deliver. Never heard of this place in Ningyocho, uh, Brozer's delivery menu. These look like some pretty good burgers. Actually, Kanai would love a burger. Whoa, Wagyu pastrami sandwiches. I thought there was gonna be like a Wagyu sandwich. Pastrami sandwich, a chicken tandoori sandwich. That looks really good. Brozer's, I guess it's a, a US chain. I don't know. I don't know. Bacon burger, $15, 1500 yen. A double lot burger, bacon egg cheeseburger, seventeen uh, fifty seven one thousand seven hundred fifty yen. Here we got a chili burger, avocado burger for fifteen hundred yen, about fifteen bucks for this. That's kind of pricey, but um, again, like you can see how much a uh, typical meal for a family is. Uh, each family member is paying about twenty to thirty dollars a person, so you got to figure that a burger is for one person. The prices should not be too far off of the norm or else people question if it's too cheap in Japan. Oh, look, 
America and Japan together in these kitty burgers with a mini salad. Wait, is the wait is the mini salad the French fries? Because that would be that would be pretty funky. Hey kids, have your potato salad. Would you want like your potato salad in the form of French fries? Tartar burger. That looks good. They even have hot dogs. Wow, my mouth is watering looking at this. Yeah, browsers they have delivery boxes too. These are burgers in a box. That's a neat way to put the burgers in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight burgers in a hamburger box. It's well, it's four hamburgers cut in half. Five thousand five hundred yen. I, are these mini or normal size? It's hard to. It doesn't say, but it, underneath it is the mega burger. That looks great. Oh whoa! What? This is mega burger is twenty four centimeters long. This is like a pizza size. This burger costs a hundred dollars. About 9,800 yen. It's eight times the size of a normal burger. They call it the Mega Burger. It's 18 centimeters high and 24 centimeters wide. It's got girth, baby. Look at that thing. Look at it. And look, of course, they know their audience. There's a beer in the background, so they're, they're talking to me. Probably there's a lot of you there, too. Chunk meal can be a lot of fun. So they got to deliver this from Ningyocho. That's kind of a far, uh, it's not too far. There you go. If you want to follow them on Instagram, you can uh, go like this. Irvon says, get the mega burger. Irvon, sadly, that super chat is $95, not enough. <laughs> Thanks for that. We're going to, Kanai and I are going to do another delivery food uh, episode pretty soon. Hey, where are you going, Gimbal? All right, um, all right, let's, I wanna get away from food now and take a look. It's just, I, I would say of all of the junk mail that I get, 50% of it is food delivery menus. And the, and the rest of it is I'm gonna show you right now. Um, they all look really good. The camera is alive. So is the ceiling. They all look really good. Just Japanese food is, is oh, look at that. It's just so good, right? Here's another um, tonkatsu. Juicy. Ah, stop it. Look at that matcha uh, strawberries. How, how do they send that? I don't know. So this is what the junk mail with Indian food! That guy's really having a party. There's some Indian food. Oh, tutties. Tariya. I, I've been here many times. So Indian food in Japan is cheap, but compared to India, it's, you know, it's kind of expensive. But they have, they have a naan that I love. Do they have a picture of it? They have a gorgonzola cheese naan. Here it is. This gorgonzola cheese naan is the bomb. It's so good. Always, I say it in the form of a question because I don't use that term often. But it's so good, and they, they put it with honey on the side so you can dip it in honey. Gorgonzola cheese is good for your cholesterol, somebody said. Someone, someone non, someone who you can't, you shouldn't believe, I think. <laughs> what is that? Gorgonzola cheese is good for you. I said, oh, really? Uh, these these non sets look good. But Indian, uh, they, they do have takeaway here. But you know what I like about this, this shop, Tari, and, and a lot of the Japanese uh, Indian restaurants? They have um, all you can eat non, all right? Non hodai. Did, does it say that here? If you eat in the restaurant, it's all you can eat naan. Yeah. I think you can get the first naan. Can be, if you add, upgrade it, you can get gorgonzola naan or, or almond cashew nuts naan. And then, the, and then after you finish this, after your upgrade, you can get unlimited regular naan. It is so good and doesn't cost you anything at all. You always leave happy and full at Indian restaurants in, in Tokyo. It's, it truly is incredible. Oh, that looks like a pretty good nabe. It's another browsers. They really, what? Okay, now we're into the non, non um, restaurant stuff here. So after eating all that, I think you're all gonna wanna hit the gyms. Gold gyms just went out of business. So this might be a collector's item, right? Gold gyms, change your body, change your life. Change your life. That looks like Tom Brady. Well, a little bit, a little bit. They photoshopped her in there too. Um, so Gold's Gym, there's a few of them around. 
I don't know. I think they might be separate businesses in Japan. So the brand might continue despite it being out of business in the U.S. But all gyms are closed until at least March 30, uh, May 31st because of the Tokyo lockdown. But you can get half-price trials here. Um, $15 a month for the half-price trial. That's, um, that, that's for a, a tr trial lesson, I, I believe. And a lot of these gyms have an entry fee. Um, most of the newer places don't do that, but the older ones, they have a membership entry fee. It's not even the membership fee, it's like entry fee. It's same with schools. So you have to pay $50 as just like a key, like key money, like thank you gift. I, 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 a lot of places um, aren't doing that, but Gold's Gym is a brand. How much is a membership? So you can get a full-time membership at Gold's Gym is, uh, for regular is 10,000 yen. And if you want to go from different areas at different Gold's Gyms, it's 13,000 yen. And then this one is for a master. You get everything for 14,000 yen. This is $140 a month. That's expensive, right? And this is for full-time, anytime. If you're just going um, Monday through Saturday between uh, 7 a.m. and 6 p.m., it's 8,000 yen. So you get a discount um, if you want to go at off-peak hours. So I guess all the gyms are doing that. But Gold's Gym is, is uh, this is going to be, this could be like a collector's item because they're out of business. Oh, Nitori! Hey, I, I have a, um, Ikea, or Ikea, we say in Japanese. Ikea uh, flyers come in here. But Nitori, this is Nitori, is a furniture shop in Japan. And they're, right now they sent me this flyer because they're having it's a sale. You can get a dining set. Um, look at this bed set. So you can put your futon here. Not a bed, but you put your futon up here and... and you can put stuff underneath there. Can I ever think about getting something like this? It's not a lot of padding, right? It's not the same as a bed. But this is Japanese furnishings. The sofas are always disappointing in Japan. Ikea's got a good one. But usually they're too small and they're not very well padded. But this this looks really good. So Kanai would have her cinema chair and I'd have mine. But how would we snuggle? Oh. No snuggling. We're separated by our big gulps in the middle. We could put the pizza here, though. I can see that happening. This one has one of these um, um, air air assist tables that go up and down. I like those. So Nitori has some good stuff. Uh, it's usually pretty cheap, and when you're when you're moving in, they have five locations in the area, including Shibuya Hachiko. They have one at Hachiko. What? They have one in Ginza. Uh, this is Nakameguro and in Shinjuku. But I didn't know they had one at, at the um, Shibuya, uh, Shibuya Koen. So I'm guessing that's near Hachiko, right? No? Oh, no, it's not. It's not exactly Hachiko. Okay. And Tobu Ikebukuro. All right. You're on my radar, Nitori. These people didn't know that they'd be on TV internationally, huh? <laughs> This is, I, I think this is for, um, what is that? Don't know what this is for. A chiropractor? A massage? Yeah, you get a, a one coin. A lot of things in Japan are one coin, yeah? Hey, Kevin Riley's here. How you doing, Kevin? A lot of Japan, they always say lunch is one coin, and five, 500 yen coin is about five bucks, and if you get one coin, it's just convenient for restaurants to pay this. But for one coin, from... Last year's September to, <laughs> this is, if you went to get a massage on these dates, you can get a massage for one coin. That's pretty amazing. As well as acupuncture called a uh, hari. We call this hari in Japanese. That's only one side. That's a pretty good deal. Just a shame I'm six months, eight, eight nine months too late. I thought this, my junk mail went back um, a little ways. This is a flyer now to four apartments here. Uh, apartments in Tokyo. Wow, that is pricey. A one LDK for $450,000. Yonsen Gohyakuman. That is pricey. Okay, we're gonna have to take a look and see what this is. A two LDK, which is two, two rooms, living, dining, kitchen. That's what it means, living, dining, kitchen. For $520,000 approximately. LDK is living, dining, kitchen. That chicken Florida writes in here, I tried green tea matcha cake from my local grocer. It had the same mouthful 
as gum from a tube. Is that typical? No. That's kind of gross, actually. Thanks for sharing that. I, I, I got that in my mind now. <laughs> so you, you out there, I'm a salesman, you out there can live in this beautiful condominium. Look at this building. So clean, so new, high-tech internet. The entrance looks like luxury. All this can be yours for $450,000. It's very conveniently located, not that far away from Ginza. Actually, that sounds really nice. It's got all the amenities. A super nice bathroom with Misty. Is that, you get, is her name Misty or is, is that the name of the sauna that, oh, okay, her name's not Misty. It's the sauna, you don't get her. Um, and this is what the layout looks like. I know I got City Hunter writes in here, you got a lot of junk mail, I know. So, all right, so let's break it down for you. This is what you get for your 450,000, right? Nagoya John's here, how you doing? I'm the only guy who makes reading junk mail fun. <laughs> no, the only guy, yeah. I'm having fun with this. All right, this is the apartment layout for a $450,000 apartment. I got this as uh, junk mail a couple of months ago, and this is the layout for a two LDK. LDK, once again, for those joining us, living, dining, kitchen, and one room. So let's, let's take a, a look at it. So here's the one room. Uh, this is the living and dining room right here. This is the balcony. Here's a, I guess it's like a, a Japanese room here. Uh, a walk-in, here's the bathtub. This is pretty small. Okaede, tadaima. Kanai's back. So you, um, for $450,000, you get 40 meters. It's only 40 square meters. That's a ripoff. You went shopping? Yeah. All right. Per, per our standards, we take our shopping outside to the balcony to disinfect it. Yeah. We have standards. How we do it. Carrie says hi. Can I? Hi. Isoko says hi. Isoko Durbin says hi. Um, so, yeah, $450,000 for 40 square meters. Rip <clears throat> off. And this one here, although it's a really nice location, you're right near Ginza. This is 45 square meters for $520,000. Let's see what you get. It's kind of in the, in the rollout here. Um, you got a bigger balcony, probably facing facing um, somewhere nice. I guess to the standard plan, it could get more expensive if you go to a higher floor. It's always a possibility. Here's your misty sauna bath, as well as a toilet, which is separated, I believe. I guess this is a wall. I don't think they put it together. You have here a kitchen dining living. So the kitchen table is here. This would be a maybe like a Japanese room. This looks like a closet. Another room. This is 5.1 tatami and 2.6 tatami. I don't like this layout at all. And this is 10 tatami mats. They, they write in here jo. So it's 10 jo, ju jo, ni ten roku jo, and go ten ichi jo. So it's about five tatami mats. This is small for $520,000, don't you think? Pass. All right, let's see what else they got here. All this junk mail. Boom. Open room. Um, from last year. <laughs> so, oh, that's crazy. This says here, Ichi Oku. This is $1 million for apartments in this, in this place. Oh, it's on Skuda. That's why. This is a pretty nice area. So you can buy an apartment for $1 million here. Why are they sending this to me? It's, do they think I got a million? That's a nice looking kitchen though. $1 million. Um... These are the cheaper plans here, looks like. So if you want for two hundred for about two hundred and sixty thousand dollars, two hundred and sixty thousand dollars, you can live in this. Looks like an older apartment. I don't think I would want to live here. Um, riverside, you get on the riverside. It looks pretty nice. One LDK, forty square meters. It's not a lot. And here's the layout. Uh, ten and a half tatami rooms for the living and the dining, and then a bedroom here for four point three tatami mats. That's not a lot for three hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Tokyo is just—I don't know—they have a housing bubble. I think that's just not worth it. Clean your skin. Here's some more housing flyers. They—they they use really good paper on these Mitsubishi. 
um, housing. I guess they have a new apartment. Um, they have a map here, and they show the layout. I like. I do like looking at the layouts. They're like things that you would do um, doodle on a notepad as you're listening to a born class. This is a good one. You can see the bedroom, the balcony on here, the closet. You can imagine living here more. Living, dining, kitchen. This has nine tatami mats, which is still, yeah, that's, that's actually fairly large size here. And then the bathroom on here. Um, a sh shoes in closet. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay, this is, this is the entrance, the Genkan. They wrote it in English just to be more stylish, not, not to try to send it to foreigners. Obviously, it's all in Japanese. But they wrote it in English for style. Isn't that funny? And the Genkan, there's a dressing room and a bathroom and a lavatory. So that costs you about $400,000 for this. This is an E-type and then a B-type. This has one kitchen with, I don't know what, what this means. This is $320,000. Uh, there's the balcony. I guess they put the bed here, and next to it is a sofa. So you can lay on your bed and watch TV. I guess if you have a small apartment, that's not a bad layout. The kitchen looks pretty narrow. huh? I mean, you, you don't really have a place to put a table there. Here's the entrance, a walk-in closet. There's the entrance, the Genkan. You put your shoes here. There's a shoe box near there and a dressing room and a bathroom. I don't know. This The new apartments, this is too semi, very... Um, the location's really good. There's Tokyo Station. It's right near Tokyo Station, so the location is good. Just two-minute walk to Monzen Nakacho. So it's pretty close in this area. It's not too far away from where we live in now. Um, this, I don't, the apartment one's look, looking kind of boring here. Looks like freight containers. Dargon Darkfire writes in here, kind of. Oh, this looks, look at how beautiful it is in Tsukishima, Monja Town. This is a new building. Look at that. The entrance is beautiful. One LDK for 400, about $440,000. Yonsen Yonhyakuma Yen. And a two LDK for Yonsen Kyuhakuma Yen. I think paying the extra 500,000 100, 100, yen is, is probably worth it. Um, just to get, to get a, a bigger space if this is going to be your room forever. They really look at that walk. -in. It's like living in a museum, though. So they've done a pretty good job of it. But I don't think I would ever buy something like this. I don't know. Does it make sense to buy a condominium at this kind of a price? I mean, it's not like you own the land, right? You just own. I guess maybe you do. I don't. I don't know how it works exactly. But the layouts are kind of fun. It's a nice area, Tsukishima. S some more. Um, living areas. It's a place a lot of apartments are being built there. Some more skin care, uh, beauty care and massage treatments. You get a facial for, t for about $100 here, but I think you can get, you can get a, a discount with some coupons. This is like what, I've been, what I get in my mailbox. For those joining us, this is a Tokyo residence, residential junk mail unboxing. I've unboxed my junk mail. Oh, this is a juku. So kids have to go to a second school. You're not supposed to ask questions in Japanese school. <laughs> I don't know why. The teachers teach and then you go to a juku and then they, they help you cram for what you were supposed to learn. I'm not sure, that's just the system. Um, so I'm not really interested. More More apartment complexes. They make them look like, you know, I wouldn't mind going to some of these model homes just to check it out. But we get a lot of model homes and new apartment complex uh, brochures to try to get us to move. Of course, they put a Mercedes Benz. You'd have to be able to afford a Benz in order to live here. Or no, these prices are a lot cheaper. These are half of the price of the other place. Interesting. But they put a Mercedes Benz in there to make you think that for this price, you can have luxury. And that's a nice view of Tokyo Sky Tree. That's pretty nice. Can I look at this balcony? What? Look at all that space. No way. I could see myself now just living there without the Mercedes Benz. And you'd be able to see fireworks from your apartment build building on the Sumida River. This looks great. Now we're talking. Yeah. Look at that view. I could see 
uh, having a glass of wine on the balcony with those very stylish chairs overlooking Tokyo Sky Tree would not just be ideal, right? Look at the layout. That's a lot of space. This cannot be, this has got to be uh, away from Ginza, right? It, and it is. This is up there near, I think, yeah, this is up, up there north of Asakusa. Um, it's, this is more where, oh, this is where your grandpa lives, Kanai, where Mr. Seiichi lives near Minowa. That's why it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's really, yeah, there's not a lot, it's, land is a little bit cheaper up there. But, yeah, all right, let me tell you guys something, some inside information. This picture looks really nice and you get this beautiful view, but guess what? It was probably taken um, six months ago and there's probably two new skyscraper buildings taking over the space and you can no longer see sky tree. That's what happens, all right? You find a nice place, you like the view, guess what? In uh, six months later, a new apartment building gets put up and steals your view. Pimple poppers. Uh, that's the same. This is an Eikaiwa English language school. How much are the, uh, doesn't say. One Up is the name of that school. Does she look like she's having fun? These man-to-man -man lessons? So you're so close. In the, in the days of uh, coronavirus, I don't think they can do that. They can't do that anymore. Look at these. I love the little teeny trucks, the flatbed trucks. They have like no power, but they carry cargo. A lot of beauty stuff. Look at that. Oh man, I don't want to mess with her. Really? Do you have to dress like that to go to this gym? You can have a, a trial lesson and with somebody who looks like her for a hundred, for a thousand dollars, for um, no, ten dollars. What? You can fight her for ten dollars? Whoa, fusion lesson. You get your butt kicked and you gotta pay for that. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of um, um, a wellness stuff here. A lot of wellness. Just kind of going through it. This is the, all the non-food ones. This is called um, Watashi no Eikaiwa, B, B school, right? I remember this is this English language school um, catered just to women because some of the men can be kind of creepy. So they have, I think, just female teachers. They want just man-to-man um, uh, -man lessons. How much is a trial lesson? Wow, the entry fee is, is $600. It's expensive to go to that school. Lovely Take Lowe's here from Australia. You could literally make junk mail scrapbook. I know, right? We could do so much with this junk mail. It's fascinating to me. This is what I get in my, in my mailbox. So these are truck rentals. So I guess you can move yourself. You can rent this truck, uh, which is two meters long, five meters long and 10 meters long. $700 to rent this truck for the day. Does it come with movers? Don't know. So if you're moving, um, I guess you get the movers too. It's depending on the size of the truck. Interesting. Some more moving stuff. I get a lot of plumbers, um, magnets for the refrigerator with plumbers. What? What is that? A V line. I don't, never heard of a V line. Can I, what is this? I don't know what the, what's a V line? V line? Yeah. V line. A V line is a bikini line. Oh, it's bikini a line. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. okay, it makes yes, sense. It's... Skip, pass. <laughs> yeah, slightly uncomfortable. Um, so what are those images there? There's the answer. Sometimes the, the apartment complexes don't go as, as high tech glossy with their flyers, but uh, that was $480,000 for this? Oh, it's in Tsukishima, that's why. Whoa, luxury car rentals. Hey now, I would love to have this for a special day, it says here, for a special day. $160 uh, for a rental. I would actually, you know what? I'm gonna save this one. 
Sounds like something fun. Special day, I'm in for that. I can't afford a $400,000 apartment, but I could sp uh, afford a $160 car rental with convertible for a special day for somebody special. Yeah. It's fascinating. It really is fascinating. So many, there's so much. This is like six months worth of junk mail. Oh, look, here's a, a help wanted ad. You can, you can work with this team. Do you guys want to join the team? No, they're not from the, the Arab world. They're actually um, in the food business, it looks like. Staff wanted part-time Arbeito. Arbeito is a German word meaning like a part-time job. It's funny how, how Japan borrowed some things from different countries. So I remember my friend said, um, yeah, my job is an Arbeito. And here's, the, here's the, your um, resume. You can fill it out and send it to them. That's funny. So on the back of the flyer, they ask you to fill out. The back of the flyer is the application for the job. That is creative. That's very creative. You have to paste your picture. Japanese resumes have their pictures attached. So you have to put a little picture. So I know in America, you're not allowed to put the picture because they don't want you discriminating based on, on what you look like. But in Japan, um, you have to add the pictures. Some supplements. Some drinks. A lot of old people love supplements. There's a, a multi-billion dollar business for supplements. This looks like a beautiful apartment. Look at that walk-in. Six, seven hundred thousand dollars for a three LDK, seventy meters, seventy square meters. I would, I would live here if it was half price, maybe. Look at that's a lot of space. Has good infrastructure. Where is that? Oh, near Tsukishima Station. It's a brand new apartment. That's why, that's why. Uh, hey, uh, Jodron Asaras, my girlfriend and I have shown all your videos to our friends. We're longtime fans, keep being you. We love your videos, thank you. Thank you for showing it. Oh, look, this is air, air conditioned cleaner. Thank you, Jodron Asaras. Sounds like a dinosaur, it's pretty cool. And Inuligur. Good afternoon, John. Got my adverts for anime shops, collectible shops, and other stores in that pile. Uh, we will, we're gonna we're gonna see. Anyways, hope you and Kanai are doing well. In Leaguer, thank you so much. We're doing pretty good. We're doing good. Let's see if they if we don't live too far away from um, Akihabara. You think we would get some kind of an anime or manga advertisements? This is looking for staff. Yeah, you can work at the register. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is interesting. This is Eon, which is a mall, shopping mall, or supermarkets. They also have supermarkets. And here they put in the wages of how much that they get. So if you work in their delivery corner, you would get for weekdays um, 1,270 yen per hour between these hours. These are the wages per hours. And on the weekends, you get another 100 yen more per hour. Uh, that's interesting. If you're working, And if you're working at the register, register workers on weekdays get... And which is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., get 12, 1,270 yen on the weekdays. Um, if you work a little bit after 5 p.m., you will get another 100 yen more. And if you work uh, evenings, even more. On the weekends, you would get this much. It's about $15 an hour for registered workers in, in Japan. That's, that's pretty reasonable, I think. I don't know what minimum wage is anymore. It's always going up. When I left, I was waiting at tables in, in Ohio. I think I was making like, like 4.35 an hour plus tips. Lunch lunch was awful because you didn't make any money at lunch. There's not a lot of people coming in. They were always ordering less. Which one gets the most money? Um, you think it was like the, the butcher shop or something. They all pretty much get about f between $12 and $15 an hour. Interesting. Did not know that. Uh, more ads. I'm looking for manga and anime stuff. It doesn't look like we're, we have a lot of that. DHC, again, a lot of these... Um, uh, this has collagen on it. Col collagen. Koragen, we say in Japanese. Koragen. I guess it, it makes you beautiful or keeps your skin soft. Uh, I guess it's marketed to women because this is like an uh, old lady color. It's pretty cool. She's 54 years old. Does she look 54 to you? It's very soft skin. You think they photoshopped it? That would be disingenuous if they photoshopped it, right? She looks, she's 54. Wow, this stuff works. 
Can I, should I put this, uh, do you want Karagan drink? Yeah. And she said yes. All right, maybe we'll put that to the side. She wants this. There's another staff here. They really wanted staff. All right, so this is a little suspicious. Some lady holding her, you'd think this is, this would be kind of suspicious, but it's not. It's like a massage, okay? I had to do a double take on that. Like what are, what did they actually promoting here. It's kind of nasty. This is a full course for massage therapy, maybe? I don't know. Can I, what is this? Full body, is this like liposuction? Mm -hmm. Losing weight? Oh, they guarantee that you'll lose this amount of weight, right? Self course. Wow, you can get skinny from maybe massage. Wow, really? Wow, I need... Yeah, look at this. Wow. I look more like this. I could use this. <laughs> All right, we'll put it... I'm going to just put it in the throwaway pile because it looks like it's marketed to women. Um, a lot of people... We don't use what's up here. We use a line. So a lot of people will... Uh, most of the Japanese will have a line, not what's app or something like this. This is from Docomo. The new iPhone 8. How old is this? Uh, $400. $400. You can get it for with a plan. I guess this is kind of old, maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe you guys can scan that and figure it out. I don't know. I, I thought they got rid of the iPhone 8. Here's another delivery. Um, I You know, I, I sent some... I sent... We get some magnets sometimes. They'll give us magnets from plumbers and moving companies that we put on a refrigerator just because they look cool with the animated dudes in there. How you doing? Wink. I like the name of this company. Next Stage. Be like Mike. So this is a campaign. This is recent from uh, May 7th, but I don't think, I think all these are canceled now because of the state of emergency. It's funny, you, you can check it out online, get more information online. Are you putting it in Frosty? Yeah. Frosty's getting some food. Wow, would you like to live here in central Tokyo? This is only 1.1 kilometers away from Ginza. You too can live the luxury. If only you have, how much? Flip the page. They won't even tell the prices. They don't say the prices. Oh, the layouts look beautiful though. Look at it. That's a lot of space. That's an American sized apartment. These are smaller ones. I'm guessing that it's gonna be above. When they don't put the prices, it's like a million dollars. That's what happens. You call, you're like, you start coughing because you just can't believe what you heard. Some more apartments. Some of these look like doubles. Sometimes, you know, I used to do this for the English school that I was, what is this? This is um, active book dialogue. Sometimes there's stuff for old old people. Um, because, you know, Japan's population is old, so you get older, older things. You've seen him. You, you know him from TV commercials. You can trust him. Buy his stuff. Wow. It's pricey. These are kimonos. That's, that's almost, um, $7,000 for, oh, no, wait, that's not kimonos. Expensive. Here's another next stage gym ad. I haven't, we haven't gotten gym ads recently because of the the um, pandemic here. Wow, I think we've seen this one. Sometimes they'll put more than one, and sometimes um, these flyer they'll. Now you're not allowed to. It's it's hard to get in to, to do these flyers to some apartment complexes, but we have a door that people anybody can go in and put flyers in there, but it's behind the back. So the people who do this for a living know how to get in there. But if you just go into the front door, 
it's auto locked so you can't get into our apartment complex. That looks like something we looked at before. So they market it to older, a little bit older people to try to get them to, to join a community. You can, you can meet, make friends with these people if you join this community. Um, it's a Tanita and it's life shaping for, I guess, for older people. It's nice. Yeah. So there you have it. Did we get any junk mail today? Can I? Did we get any junk mail? No. No? Uh, I forgot to get the uh, junk mail from the supermarket. Oh, you didn't get it the flyer. Me. Yeah, I know. I told I you. It's all right. Okay. I guess that's about it, everybody. Um, do you have any questions? I will take questions mm -hmm. from you from one hour of looking at junk mail. Can you even believe? I can't believe we just did an hour of junk mail. I, I thought this was an interesting topic. A lot of people, if you are coming to and thinking about moving to Japan, you're going to get, you're going to get junk mail. All right. This is what's in. This is what you can expect in your mailbox. Just so you know, um, it's pretty fascinating. It really is. Uh, I'll take. Um, let's see if we can get the get the 400 likes. I really appreciate that. Maybe even 500, if we if we push it. Um, but hey, baby Yoda. On here. When you said one million dollars, did you mean yen or U.S. dollars? I meant one million U.S. dollars, which is um, ichioku en, right? One million dollars is wait. Um, one million one one million yen is ten thousand dollars. One one million yen, ten million yen is one hundred thousand dollars, and well, I I think ichioku en is one million dollars. So I saw that it was one million dollars. I'm still trying to erase this from my mind. I didn't know what those shapes were. Uh, tourism is down in Japan. Is your wife wife's name Kanai? No, it's Kanai K N N A E Kanae. But if you say it fast, it's hard to tell if it's an A E or an I. Kanai Kanai. Can I? 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 It's hard. It's it's hard for foreigners because they hear can I, and sometimes if you say it with an English accent, it's hard to, it's hard to differentiate can I. It nobody really ends with an e. They go can I? Can I? Broken record. Um. Stop calling her. No, I'm. She knows what I'm doing. He's willing, waiting for her to react. Um, the point is, if it's hard to say kanai uh, ten times without it starting to sound like kanai, you know, kanai, kanai. So when you say it in normal conversation, it sounds like kanai. It's true. Um, it's like kawaii. With Glenn, do you guys have nicknames for each other? We do, but I'm not telling you. Um, ramen delivery. We don't have a ramen delivery shop, so we might have to do Uber Eats or something. It's something we're looking into. How does Uber Eats on a bicycle deliver ramen? Can you just uh, think about that? They do they do wrap it pretty good, but you figure it's going to slosh around. I think you have to add the noodles later. I don't know. But they the uh, motorbikes that they deliver the food with... They have amazing stabilizers on it, so um, things usually come in pretty good shape. Even when you go around a turn, the box, it's like a gimbal. It stays level. And they have heaters on top of it. It looks like little electrical outlets on the older ones. It looks like uh, it, they're actually heated inside, so it keeps it warm. So when you get, get it delivered, you have a nice toasty uh, pizza or warm um, gyoza. Um, but... We have ramen delivery in Berlin. The way they do the delivery for ramen is they don't fully cook the noodles. They stop um, halfway in the process because it's going to take five minutes or ten minutes to deliver it to you. And then by the time you receive it, the noodles have become soft like normal. So if you eat the ramen right away for delivery ramen or takeaway, it's going to be a little bit like a katai, kind of a harder noodle. That's the secret. Um, do you remember uh, Misato from the uh, Kyushoku episode? Yeah, of course I remember Misato. 
watching from Wisconsin, uh, USA. This is the part where you guys want to write in where you're watching from. Go ahead and, and uh, let, let us know. Some of you are shy to ask, ask a question, I know. But don't be shy. You can write in where you're... That's an easy one for you. I'm wearing a hat because it is my... I, I'm, I have quarantine hair. And um, I, it, I, seriously, it's like this right now. It looks like... I look like a clown. No one will take me seriously with or without a hat. It's, it's a lose-lose. Prevent soggy to keep soup base, yeah. Can I lovely, uh, que significa? What is the meaning of her name? Eh, can I, name wa nan no imi desu ka? Can I, in English? Um, it's kind of difficult to explain about my name by English for me, but can I is uh, like, can I? Canal. Canal means dream come true. Dream come true. Canal is uh, if you have uh, some play or some dream, it's come true. Whoa. I mean, it's come true. And my mom and dad uh, didn't get the baby so long time. And oh. if they got me, yeah. so it means it's for them. So they... <laughs> so but kanji is true, so. right. Genki Genki Kame wrote in, but it's a different kanji than that yes. kanal. Yes. Yeah, different, different kanji. Different kanji, but same, same, but different. Yeah, but my parents put <laughs> <laughs> different kanji, but yeah. I mean is like their dream came true. Good. Yes. <laughs> a lot of dreams came true. Thank you, Kana. <laughs> You're welcome. Megumi, your sister's name is Megumi, and that means what? Megumi is Megumaru. Megumaguru. So, huh? like many people love the, love the you. Ah, many people love many you. Many people like you. That's a nice meaning to the it's name. Megumi. So. My name is John. It's a nickname for restroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom. Name me after. No, John is a nice name. No, I gotta go to the John. All right, or it's it's one of those guys who solicits. All right, John is not. It's like I, you know, how do you explain when people ask you what does your name mean? What do you say? And are there any Johns here? What do you say for your name? Uh, it means porta potty, or it means Mr. Restroom, or it means um, a guy who solicits on the you know street corners and stuff from people and for things that pleasure. I, it's not a name. I cannot explain what John means. It's got Christopher. What does Christopher mean? It's there's no meaning to Christopher, is there? Right, Remco. What does Remco mean? Remco, you know, Joy. I know what Joy means. I'm looking Brande. I see it's Royal Ronan. You got a pretty good name, Mister Ronan. Uh, Royal uh, Dargun Darkfire. What does that even mean? Runaway, PMX. In a liquor, Zach, Joy, Darwin, Janet, Daniel, Bud, Nosh. I don't even know what Nosh means. Viewer from afar. I know what that means. See, names should be like that. They should mean exactly what, what they're intended to mean. Um, for dinner tonight, I don't know what we're having. Nani taberu konya? Because I got tapioca pizza if you want it. You can order it. No. Tonight, we got um, a special treat for you, which is morning in the U.S. Tonight, we have your favorite guitarist. No, it's not Slash. It's Hannah Victoria. Uh, Hannah, it was my assistant last summer, and she's going to be calling in from Washington, D.C., and she's going to be playing a song for us live. This is awesome. You know, back in the 1980s, we had Live Aid. We had, um, what was that one? We Are the World and stuff like that. We got Hana Aid, all right? This lady is happy all the time. She's just a ball of energy and happiness, and I'm gonna unleash her on Only in Japan Go um, tonight around 11 p.m., so I guess like 10 a.m. Washington, D.C. time. So tonight, um, we're, and I wanna find out how she's doing. She took a job in New York City and left me and my channel. She left us. But I wrote her a glowing um, recommendation. She got the job. I think it was because of the recommendation. I'm just saying. I put, I put a little bit of um, Smurfette powder that I stole from Gargamel on there, and it made a like 
whenever they read it, that dust got on their faces and they believed everything I said. Um, for uh, it's called the Documentary Company um, in New York City, and she's working, uh, helping for that, helping them uh, make shows, and she loves it. She's and I'm glad that she found something that she loves. But she's going to share with us what she's going to, what she has been doing for the last six months now in the United States, and how she's been coping uh, with. Um, the situation in New York City. She had to leave there, which I think is good, to work remotely with one of her family members who lives in that area in, in DC. So uh, she's safe, she's doing well. Uh, I've been texting her, but I have not seen her in the, uh, you know, visually through video phone. So uh, if she has long quarantine hair like me, that's gonna be a lot of fun to process that, yeah. Uh, my family is doing pretty good. Um, they go out to the supermarket once every five days or so. Um, uh, they got masks, they're staying, uh, lively. Um, I call in every couple of days, see what's going on. Um, usually it starts off where, where I complain to my mother that can I did something wrong? You know, like when kids do that, I'll say, mom, can I farted? You know, that's how the phone calls start. I figure, you know, it sounds like I was, I'm home, right? And then she did, she denies it. And I, I don't back down. And then I'll turn the camera around and then you hear one and you don't know which one of us did it. My mom has to guess. Usually she picks me. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, there's your junk mail thing. Thanks so much for the super chats, guys. I appreciate that. We'll put that to good use towards um, another food delivery episode. Um, and you can see, can I just wipe down all the stuff from the grocery store? You can see, we got some uh, tofu, natto, tuna fish, um, vegetables. We, we look like we're stocked for the next couple of uh, couple of days. It's good. All right, have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, I appreciate you watching. If you guys aren't getting the notification, you could, you know, support me on Patreon or try unsubscribing and subscribing again to the channel. A lot of people said that that works and they get the notifications again. Sometimes you just have to reset. Uh, make sure the notification bell is on. I appreciate it, guys. See you next time. You want to say goodbye, can I? Yeah. She said, wait a moment. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.